Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my continuing let's play of Baldur's Gate 2. Alright then, last time we explored all of this little area. We killed a demon, we killed some of these nasty Duragur, which I believe are sort of like if you're a Games Workshop in type, close to Chaos Dwarves. Look to here, we went in here, killed the Orkyarg. Found some traps, killed some goblins, found a second teleport portal. Which I believe this one's here if you want to do all this. This one's here if you basically don't. Um, now we're in the room of dryads. And if we go down here we will find the mistress's chamber. That will immediately instill an alarm which will cause these golems here to wander their way up to attack us. Which will be fun. I'll explore around in here for a while. Don't know if there's any anything to to find. Apparently not. So yes. I'm going to set myself. You point where it means Minsky goes, and you hear it here, and I'm going to send everyone in. Alarm shall go as soon as I cross the threshold. What is this place? It's, it's beautiful. Oh, there is simply no way that this space belongs to the same person that owns those horrible glass containers. It's unlikely that our captor would rent out space. It must be his. No, it can't be. Not the person I know. This this bed, that table. I know of them. He would he would speak of them while he while he It's for a lost love, kept in perfect condition. She she despises him. This is his monument to her. He spoke of all this, but but his voice was cold. No emotion at all, not even remembered. He spoke of these things even whilst he cut. He cut, and the spells that wove through my brain, cold, ugly things. I can't hurt you now, you're amongst friends. It hurt, still hurts. His sick fingers are still in my head, doing whatever it was he started. I see blood and death behind my eyes. Iranicus. This room, if he could care for anything, he would care for this room. Above all, above the lives of all of us. It makes me feel sick. I feel, I feel so much hate. I would burn this place, but it is nothing. Even as it means so much, it is nothing. Let's do what we must and get out of this place. It's making me sick. Okay, let's carry on searching for traps, as I believe there are a lot of them. There are some things, and even more traps. And another... Ah, the portal key. Let's get here and check for traps first. Well, I shall soon be getting a pause notice. Oh, there are. Good job, I remembered that. And let's come down here. And yep, that's trapped again. Here we are. What you want? Good to go. Um, did I bring a warhammer? Yes, I did. Oh boy. Yep, you've got. Um, do you have mace? You do have a mace. Excellent. I believe these things can only be hit by blunt weapons. Um, oh, you've got a Warhammer as well. Let's pop you there. You're fine at hitting them with these. Swords, not words. I await your need. <coughs> the chambers of the master's wife have been entered. All must be destroyed. Whoa, 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 what you doing there, big boy?
Okay. That was quicker and easier than I was expecting. A lot quicker and easier than I was expecting. I'm checking this. Okay. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. What is it? Without doubt. Although he did get hit a bit. Let's check. Yeah, Minsk. Yeah, Minsk got crushing damage. Minsk and Bull stand ready. There we are. Okay, now then, let's see what Inon picked up. Some more spells, she can have that potion. Braces of defense, armor class 8. And yeah, that will bring her down. Portal key, she can have that. Pommel jewel now. In this game, crafting is a little bit more of a thing, and this is one of the mighty treasures. With the equalizer, I believe. So I'll give that to Minsk. When you can throw this and this over to him. Oh, this is a magic plus one sword, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll grab these arrows. So that you have just spells and a few other things. Okay, let's let's head along here. To, we don't want to go down this portal yet. I want to go over to this portal. So we will spend a little bit of time going across to there. Unfortunately, the walking speed is a bit limited. And the distances in this game have only marginally been improved from uh, Baldur's Gate 1. And of course, it being a dungeon, it's all twisty-turny. So, yeah. Now we can open this. I think that loses us that key. It does, that's good. That's an extra inventory slot. And here we are in the elemental plane of air. Then we go up here and there are lots of things, including a genie. But unfortunately, there are also these bloody things here in Memphis. Actually, does he have a Warhammer now? He does. That's going to be better than uh, double-handed sword that he's decided he wants to change to. Looking over the side shows only a dark, windy void that descends endlessly below. I think there's more Memphis this way. There's definitely a load up on the uh, platform. Why is he so desperate to avoid? There we are. And up here we have a possibly betrapped box. Apparently it is not trapped, you can count on me. but it has a beautiful spell, which I am going to desperately try and learn. Because it will give me 6,000 experience points yes. just by learning it. Every hamster has his day. <clears throat> now, I am very tempted to force him into the two-handed or the 
this to give him... I mean, he gets extra damage. And one less armor class. It's not a huge amount of extra damage. Well, potentially 50% extra damage, but still. Minimum 9 damage per hit, which is pretty good. So, we come along here. And we hope. Let's take out the steam limb first. That's painful. Yeah, this is this is the problem that I had envisaged. Of course, now I can give him one of these. And that should, if he gets it in time, if he bothers to drink it, there we go. Might be okay. Well, one of those done. There we go. We did it. Phew. Okay, let's give you some more healing. You done healing. You're done healing. You have. You just have. You can shift into a bear. You got big healing there. I'm going to give you healing on yourself, even though it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, that was a poor idea. I'm quite annoyed with myself. Plus side, we're virtually done here. We've got a genie up here. He'll want us to go and get something. Typically. I am bound! What do... Who are you? Ah, I see the master is gone and you've managed to get yourselves in trouble. Who are you that you've been bound in this? Would you be the proverbial genie in a bottle? That I would, manling. I assume that now, you have, now that you have escaped, you have come seeking the magical item that has been stripped from you by our collective captor. You have an item of mine? I do. A thing of power that still carries a hint of your essence. There is something odd about the signature that you leave on this item. No matter. Can you give it to me? If I had the power to give you your weapon, I would. But the force that binds me is strong. As long as I am trapped within this flask, I am within the mage's power. If you can secure the means of my release, I will give you your weapon. Sounds like a fair trade. How do I secure the means of your release? The flask that I am bound in this creation of is a creation of magic. It is unbreakable as long as it remains apart from its twin, the real flask. You must find the original flask and bring it back to me. Once it is within my grasp, I can break the enchantment and be freed. Where can I find this flask? He will keep the flask close to himself. The master would not risk it falling into other hands. Perhaps he keeps it in his chambers or with his dryad concubines. Perhaps the golems have it. I cannot pinpoint its location from another plane. You shall have to search for it. Return to me when you have found it, and we shall exchange my freedom for your weapon. So, this is a ridiculous fetch quest that has literally got no use other than the item that I get at the end of it. But the real annoyance is that it is just a walking simulator. Because now we have to go back here. Come back and talk to the... Well... No. Well, yes. Unfortunately. And this just... It's just a really annoying thing. It's like, why couldn't you have found the flask in one of the areas here? Why do you have to walk all the way back and then walk from there, from here again, all the way back, and then from there, all the way back up to the teleportal to get to where you're going? It is absolutely ridiculous. So annoying. Okay, let's chat with you. You have returned, Elf. 
Is there something that you require, else you require of us? I search for a flask in order to free a genie. Have you such a thing? You are very noble to risk your own safety to free the genie. We have the flask and shall give it to you. And... Back we go. All that for this. And they could have just made the flask a standard collectible item found in the furthest reaches, or even up here, and it would have saved a couple of minutes of game time. Which, in the scheme of things, isn't a huge amount, but it does feel annoying, and I think this is one of the main reasons that a lot of people don't like this dungeon. I'm personally quite happy with it, apart from this individual area, or little annoying quest. But there are mods that enable you to just skip the dungeon completely. Okay. It will be now, back we go. <coughs> Excuse me. It just takes so long. Now, you do get a decent weapon out of it. I sense that you have the flask. Let us make the exchange. At last I am free. Here is your item, fleshling. You are an honourable person, and I feel I must warn you. Keep away from the master. Now we get a huge bunch of experience. 15,000 XP for this. The Sword of Chaos plus two. If anybody doesn't know, that's Saravok's old sword. The party has lost an item, the genie's flask. He will torture you for escaping and kill you for freeing his genie slave. Escape from his lair quickly if you value your life. Farewell. Anything else? No. So, this is the Saravok's so Sword of Chaos. The Blade of Saravok, brother of Sarah Evenstar, used in the battle they fought in faraway Baldur's Gate. Sarah Evenstar prevailed, destroying Saravok's plans and re rescuing the Sword Coast from the brink of war. The sword itself defies identification, likely forged specifically for Saravok to fo best focus the infernal energy he hoped to control. Much of its power died with him. So, <clears throat> every hit drains a hit point from the target and transferred it to the wielder, which is pretty good. Now, this replaces Minsk's two-handed sword. And... makes it a lot, lot better, basically. It's now a magical wep two-handed weapon that he's good at. And so, back we come again. And it also heals Minsk when he hits, which he will do more often with a plus two sword. <clears throat> now, if you, you haste him up a bit, and he can be healing two or three hit points around. Which is pretty decent, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now we have to go to the teleport port. Certainly. Which requires us to wander around even more. Back we go. So we've now completely cleared out this entire area. And we will be moving on to the next level. I shall, we, we shall meet up with another happy chappy who I'm not sure whether we're going to keep. We might do, but I have a I have better options. Okay, so we go through the teleport. So there is sanity in all this madness. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. A fair line, easily used by servants of the wizard themselves. We have been imprisoned and worse, and given many reasons to distrust strangers we encounter. I share your sentiments. I have seen much here that disturbs me. I, myself, am a warrior with no evil intentions. Please. I would welcome any assistance you might offer. 
In assistance, you shall get Yoshima. What ails you, friend? I'm not sure how I came to be here. Like you, I suspect. I've been trying to find my way out, but I was wounded in my attempt to do so. Tell me, how did you come to be trapped here? It is actually uh, quite uh, embarrassing. My profession does not leave itself open to those who are not wary, yet somehow I was caught unaware. I came to Atkatla years ago from Karutur to seek my fortune. At some point, I went to bed in my room at the Copper Coronet, and I awoke in a strange room with a very sore head. I do not long know how long I was there before waking. Do you think that we are in Atkatla? I am unsure. I may have been drugged when I was brought here. I may have been unconscious. Either way, I do not know how long. If it was the former, this place could be anywhere. If it was the latter, then I don't imagine that I could have travelled very far without noticing. Then you do know the hardship of being set into a maze like a helpless hamster. We are comrades in peril. Boo asks what you propose we do next, little man. I do not know a way to escape this place. Perhaps we could search for this exit together. I would welcome another companion. But, oh, I would welcome another companion. Yes, I'd be pleased to have you join me. I should be happy to help lend my blaze to your cause. There are two things that I have discovered about this place that may help us escape. In the next chamber beyond the one in which we stand, the four portals lie. Each of these portals releases a little cackling fiend which tries to kill me. These little beasties keep coming in through the portals. Perhaps if the portals are destroyed, one could defeat the beasts that have already come through. Well, let's have a look. Shortly beyond that, there is a hallway that contains several wands mounted in pedestals. They blast all that walk before them, hence the, ward, the wand keys. I have noticed that each wand is locked into the pedestal and could be removed if one had the proper key. I know not where these keys are. Let us begin. So, I have two keys. I don't think anybody else has any other keys. That's just a portal key. And here we have Yoshimo, a bounty hunter. Can he wear any of the armor? I have collected. He cannot. Okay, well, back he goes to leather armor. He has a short bow and some arrows that I will just top up for him. And he has a level up available. He's got a katana, he's got a short bow. Um, what should I have him do? Let's give him a two weapon style. Oh, and he's got some thiefing abilities. He's got traps, he's got open locks. Let's get him up to a hundred and that. And he can be my new my new thief. So his pick locks and find traps are better than Imoen's now. Which means that I can customize her script to ranged standard. And I will pop him on Thief Adventurer? No. Thief Defensive. No. Thief Controlled. That's the one. He will go ahead of her in the list. And he's got a second katana space. There we go. That's a katana. And that's a Yoshimo's katana. I think dual wielding uh, doubt. Yoshimo could be quite fun. And another spell for me. Which she can learn. And does. Good job, girl. Right. <clears throat> Let us move on. I paused. I'm 100% certain I paused this. So, let us 
attack the Memphis portals. One by one, ignoring all other Memphis portals. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. I'm like enjoying that far too much, Yoshima. Quickly and precisely. Okay. This is unfortunate. A body lies upon the table. It appears he has been experimented on. It's hard to tell how long he's been dead. Oh, lots of other things around. Yeah. This way, then? Nope, not you, I'm afraid, anymore. It is you. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Let's see if there are any traps over here. Apparently not. Yes, without hesitation. <clears throat> Let's go and see who this unfortunate soul is. Or not. What do you need? Fleet of foot and all that. Magical bolts that we can't use, but never hurts to have. And another wand key. So we now have four of these wand keys. What's that? Energy cells. I think we're pretty certain we can ground those, but I will keep them nonetheless. We've already got three wand keys. I thought we had more than that. That's annoying. Still, we've got three of them. Are you trapped? I don't think you're trapped, but you could be trapped. Let's give these to you now, actually. You have another one key, yep. So now we have four one keys. I think there could be six, but I'm not 100% on it. Yoshimo is willing. Are you trapped? Apparently not. And another one key. This is the one to fire. So I've got five one keys now. I think there are six in total. Come on. There we are. A dream, a bad dream. Where are the mirrors? The switches to pull to show where he's hidden. Kali. Damn you! Damn you! I will have the heart of who done this. I will tear that blackened heart from there. I will. I no. This isn't real, isn't it? He couldn't be dead. Shut up! No more words! Words are nothing! I knew him not, but I mourn for your loss. Stranger! Nobody! I will not hear your words! Leave me! A brave man has fallen here, but that is no cause to hurl insults at the living. Here, who shall comfort you? The imbecile! Affront to nature! What do you and your rodent know? What can you know? No words! No more no words! No more nerds. Save your speeches, your save your proverbs. The only voice I wish to hear is, is dead. No more. No. No. Syl Sylvanus, guide the light to this horse. Take this man to what he justly deserves by nature's will. What was given is returned. What was turmoil is now, is now peace. Khalid of my heart, let my love, my love guide the way. We, we must hurry before we are noticed. We must get out of this, this grave and seek the light above us. Let us go. No pointless crying. We will honour him when there is time. We live in a time of miracles and nature allows the rebirth of many that have passed beyond the veil. 
But there is a time when, when it is better to let go. And we will not disturb his body further. We will honor his loss with future deeds. This, that is the way of things. There will be, there will be payment for his crime. And I shall not rest until it is collected when we are able. There will be enough. We should leave this place. Okay. No! You do not know. This is not the time for this conversation, child. Stop calling me child. And with all the Sarah even starting besides, I can tell you that Kelly did not suffer. What are you babbling about, the one? I'm not in the mood. I'm not babbling. I saw him do this. Khalid was dead when our captor started doing those things to him. You saw this? You watched as it was done? He, he showed me. He cut and he showed me. He forced my eyes open and made me look as he... Stop, I don't want to hear this. He said I should see so I would understand. But I don't know what he wanted. He would cut and say, do you see? Cut and say, do you see? Be quiet, child, no more. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Okay. <coughs> We've got some slightly Lord, wounded people here. Where shall I display my skill and expertise? Um, you take that and drink it. Speak. So. If it must be done. Let's go in here. I think there are some fun things in here that we need to see. Let's attack this guy first. And there's an escaped clan. Hast thou come to pray once again, to pray on me, my master? I know your master, dear lady, is there out that I can do for you? Do for me, do for me, after all thou hast already done. But we have done nothing to you, lady. We have only just come upon you. Perhaps if you calm yourself, we could... Thou hast created me in her image, but I am not her, I am not. And I shall ne'er be let, let thee touch me again. No more death to rise again. Not her. So. She's a wizard. And she is dead. And we have the final... I wonder why Irenicus made her. I doubt he took pleasure from in our company. He's beyond that. He's fascinated with death. He showed me over and over. Yes, we get it, Emma, and we get it. So now we have six wand keys. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. These jars are each filled with clones of the same woman, or parts of her at least. Some seem to be living, but most are lifeless within the fluid. Within the fluid. One jar is broken. Nothing around there. And this central unit seems to power all the others. Nothing. Oh, there's a couple of barrels. Fireball. And one over here. Necklace and some arrows. Why not? Who else has the fireball spell? Jahira has another fireball spell. Pop that one down to her. I'll pop the necklace on. In the same way that I'll pop the necklace on you. And the necklace on you just to fill up space. Yoshimo, you can wear a couple of nice rings. And you can wear this. Do you have a necklace? You do. Ah oh, well. Four spots free. Okay. <clears throat> Let's come back down here. How much experience do we get from killing her? 1250 for a, for a clone who could uh, cast spells. Brutal. Anyway. Enough of this. This has been yet another episode done. We are in the second area of our dungeon. We've got a lot of places to go. We are forever getting closer. 20,000 XP closer to um, 
getting ourselves leveled. Decent level, actually. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, if you've enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, next time we will continue our passage through the dungeons. Or this particular dungeon, at least, anyway. And I will hopefully see you next time. Thank you ever so much for watching. Goodbye.